Here you have a New York state senator, apparently a socialist. Basically, you have this guy making an argument against creating more market rate housing because he thinks that, using his analogy, creating caviar will not lower the price of regular eggs. Sam D. in the comments pointed out probably the number one counter argument to this, which is that if you create more luxury eggs, that will help prevent more wealthier people from buying up normal eggs. Or to drop the analogy, building more new market rate housing will help more affluent people not buy up older, more affordable housing. Another thing that I feel like gets lost in the debate here is that it doesn't matter if you believe that more multifamily housing should be affordable or subsidized by the government or market rate or whatever. It's all illegal to build throughout most cities in the U.S. To take my city of Austin as an example, you can build it along some areas of major corridors, some random other areas, but in most neighborhoods that are single family home zoned, you simply cannot build a new apartment complex without jumping through a lot of hoops and likely facing protests from local NIMBYs. So we should all be able to come together, whether you think housing should be more subsidized by the government or not, and agree that it is all, for the most part, illegal to build in the United States.